Howdy folks, High Value DMD. Don't just give me your subscription, but please let me earn it. Let me earn your like and let me earn your comment. Enjoy the decline. I will go down with the ship. If you guys, gentlemen, spend any time on YouTube at all, you will see tons of MGTOW channels, tons of Red Pill channels that essentially say all hope is lost. And I'm not so sure that they're completely wrong. If you look around at society today, nothing is the same as it used to be. Everything is harder, which I've alluded to on this channel before. People are confused on who they are in today's age. For example, you have more men that seemingly are not living up to the standards set forth by their grandfathers and their fathers. They're not excelling in their careers. More and more men are just staying at home with their parents well into their 30s. I have personal experience with that. I know people in my family that are doing that. Whether they're addicted to drugs, whether they're addicted to playing video games, it's a thing. And men are floundering. Meanwhile, their female counterparts are doing very well for themselves. They're going off to college. Over 60% of colleges are now female. And I'm a dentist. That's what I do by trade. And dental school is now 60% female. Medical school is also in the same vein. And so we have this huge role reversal where men are not living up to what they used to in women are taking over these roles. Women are taking over leadership roles. And it's like, who's going to do it? If men aren't there to do it, then who's going to do it? This vacuum is going to be filled, and, and women are filling it. Women are becoming the new man. And I know several anecdotal examples of men that are staying home with their children. Their children. <laughs> and I'll make a separate video about that. And I actually know someone, like several examples my age, and then someone that is older where the woman is just earning more, out earning the man. <laughs> and so we have flipped that dynamic around. And I understand that families oftentimes need dual income, but why is it that men are not earning? as much or more than their female counterparts but it is so often flipped around because women are outworking the men in this day and age traditional marriage is very hard to come by so many men and women are just participating in hookup culture so the men aren't working hard and if they are doing anything they're going to go out and, and hook up have sex flagrantly they're not going to have any type of committed relationship. This is damaging themselves and this is damaging their partners. And it's making them lazy. Pornography is making men extremely lazy. And so that is contributing to a cultural decline in our country. Why would a man want to man up and, and go marry a woman and try to have a family and make a go at it if, for one, hookup culture is prevalent and... A lot of men aren't fostering those, that environment, and a lot of women aren't fostering that environment because they're just having hot girl summer. You know, there's, a, there's this boss lady, they don't need no man. They can make all the money in the world that they want. So why would they? Why? And oftentimes having a family, having children is actually frowned upon in our society. I can't tell you how many times in dental school there was young ladies that just like, nah, I, I could never be a mother. Like it was some this alien concept. We our society has successfully taught young women that being a mother is a lesser role in society. We have taught them that chasing a career for one's own gratification and glory is the greater of the two, it's the greater position to have. I'm here as a dentist, I'm here to make money, to have a family one day. 
That is why I'm here, literally. It's not for anybody else. It's not, it's not to glorify myself. It's not to be called doctor. It is to provide for a family one day. So here I stand, trying to chase after the days of old. You have such confusion in society about these gender roles, and then you have just the simple fact that people don't know what gender they are, where they belong to. So I think after a while you have women going into roles traditionally held by men, they will start thinking they're men. There's, there's more gender dysphoria on the rise than there ever has been. You can read about this stuff in the Bible. It's not new. You had things like Sodom and Gomorrah, where, and you had ancient Rome and ancient Greece, where people were confused. I mean, for thousands, I don't know about thousands, but for, for many, many years, you had countries like Thailand, where they had intersex things, where people identified as intersex. But it is becoming so, so rampant. It's becoming cool nowadays to be transgender, to be confused. Confusion is normality in our society today. And so here I am. I will go down with the ship. A lot of men out there, they're giving up. Okay, they're giving up, they're playing their video games, they're saying there's no hope, I'll never find a woman that's traditional woman. You know, they're just still doing all this doomer stuff. There's no hope, you know, I'll be a passport bro, I'll go to Philippines, I'll go to Eastern Europe to find a woman. But And then some of these people on the internet, they say, well, even then, if you come back to the United States... A few months go by, and then there'll be a westernized woman, and it'll all be for nothing. I acknowledge all of the, the deficiencies in our culture today, and that we are not headed in a positive direction. But heck, I'm going to keep trying. Here I am. I'm going to keep trying. Maybe I'm going down with the ship. Maybe, maybe it, it's... It, Maybe that life doesn't exist anymore. You know, even if I, even if me and my fiance, we, you know, we have a wonderful get, go at it. Maybe the culture around us will close in on us and be treating us like we're the crazy people. So be it. I'm willing to take that risk. I'm willing to go down this path and chase it as far as it goes because I know it, it's. I know it's the most fruitful one for our life, a traditional marriage, a traditional life, a wife that stays at home that takes care of the kids, the husband and father that leads the house, that tries his best for his family, to give back for his family, not a bunch of selfishness going out and participating in hookup culture. Somebody's got to make a stand, right? Somebody's got to do it. And it can be hard, it can be lonely sometimes maybe when the rest of the world doesn't see eye to eye as you do. But you have to try. You have to live your life knowing that you tried and gave your all for something that mattered. And I think this matters. And so those, the people out there, they can be red pill. They can be men's going their own way, MGTOW. They can do all that. That's fine. But that ain't me. That's not going to be me. I'm going to choose another destiny for me in my life. And maybe, just maybe, maybe, just maybe, there will be enough people like me to bail the water out of the boat to maybe take some putty to fill the holes in the boat where water is flooding in. And maybe we can turn this thing around and have a world that's worth living in, that's worth raising children in. And with that, I will leave you.
it's a wonderful afternoon here in West Texas. And it's still a little warm, but it should be getting cooled off next month. And I just can't wait for that, living out here and enjoying that. I hope I earned your subscription. I hope I earned your like, and I hope I earned your comment. Let me know what you think below. Are you giving up? Is this culture done for? Or are you going to go down with the ship with me? Are you going to go down trying? Are you going to go out knowing that you gave everything you had for something that mattered? Let me know what you think below. Until next time.